And good evening, basketball fans, and welcome back inside the W.P. Watson Center, home of the Mule Riders, inside of tonight's Great American Conference matchup between the Crimson Storm of Southern Nazarene and your Southern Arkansas University Mule Riders. And now, fans, at this time, I would like to introduce the starting lineups, which are brought to you by Farmers Bank and Trust with five locations in Magnolia. Farmers Bank and Trust here for you. First, the starters for the visiting Crimson Storm. A 6'4 senior out of Alameda, California, number one, Ben Ozissick. A 6'2 senior out of Berkeley, California, number 15, Ben Baker McCann. A 16 graduate student from Amsterdam, Netherlands, number 22, Jonas Visser. 6'4 sophomore from Coldwood, British Columbia, number 23, Cam Slaymaker. And a 6'4 sophomore out of Bartlesville, Oklahoma, number 33, Kent Gerard. Southern Nazarene, coached by head coach B.J. Foster, assisted by Julius Coleman and C.J. White. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting lineup for your Southern Arkansas University New Riders. A 6'6 junior out of Natchitoches, Louisiana, number 10, Christian Caldwell. A 6'7 senior out of New Orleans, number 11, Greg Hammond, Jr. A 5'9 freshman from Magnolia, number 15, Navy Tail. A 6'5 junior from Four Oaks, North Carolina, number 23, C.J. Ray. And a 6'4 freshman out of Baton Rouge, number 24, Anthony Agini. Coaching staff from Mule Riders, assistant coaches Ted Waller, Blake Rogers, Ryan Pippins, and Calvin Lewis, and head coach of the Mule Riders, Logan Quinn. Christian Caldwell at 6'6", jumps it up for SAU against 6'10", Jonas Visser of the Netherlands. The tip is up, and it comes to the floor, and they'll, they'll re-jump it. So let's do it one more time. In the air, and... Tipped into the backcourt by Caldwell. SAU gets first possession in this game. Front court to the right side. Hammond brings it out. Throws off to Igidi. Dribbles across. Gives down on the left baseline to Ray. Then kick out left wing. Three from Igidi won't go down. It's pulled down by the Savage Storm, or the Crimson Storm, rather. Baker McCann. He brings it into the front court. They'll work it around the perimeter from right to left. That's Gerard over there on the left side. Lobs low left side to Zek. Zekic. His shot from the left baseline, no good. Rebound to Navy Tell for SAU. They come front court. That's Zezik, not Zekic. Ray out top. Hands off to Hammond coming out from the right side. On around left wing. IGD back to Hammond. Left wing three. He knocked it down. Gregory Hammond Jr. with the three, and SAU takes the first lead of this game, up three to nothing. The Crimson Storm, front court, McCann on the right side, dribbles to the top now, gives back right, wrap around pass, low to the big guy, Visser, and they'll kick it back out. That's McCann. He launches a three, in and out, no good, and off of the big man. It goes out of bounds. Visser, uh, Got a hand on it and then proceeds to point the other direction. So it'll be a SAU ball. 
Up the floor comes Till. Front court, right side, over to IGD. Comes left off a screen. Now give out top to Caldwell. And on around left side to Till. Dribbled inside. Ball slipped out of his hands, trying to go up. Since the Crimson Storm coming the other way. Till knocked it loose down low from Slaymaker. Slaymaker misses. He misses a putback. And they come away with another rebound. Baker McCann brings it out top. Now they work it to the left side, then back right. Up top, McCann. Screen, one dribble. Lobs in low. Visser turns off the glass. Good for Jonas Visser. Three to two. They say you buy one early in this one. Igedi around to Ray, right wing with the dribble. Now brings it up top. Comes around toward the left side. He'll stop and pop a three off the dribble. No good. Caldwell tried to tip it away from Visser, but it's going to be Southern Nazarene ball. McCann to the near side, front court with the dribble. Throws back left to Slaymaker, then back right and on around. They come right wing to Zezik. He gives to the top. McCann drives, dumps off low to Gerard, and Gerard lays it in. Well, the Crimson Storm with their first lead at 4-3. to three. Left to right goes Tell. Bounce down to Ray, and Ray will throw it back out around to IGD. Left wing three, short, no good. McCann clears for Southern Nazarene. Front court to the right side. And a cutter, and they got it off inside. And that's put up and in by Ben Baker McCann. Six to three, six oh run for the Crimson Storm. CU works right. Tell out top now. Over to Hammond. Hammond into the paint. Wrap around. Give down to the right corner. Low to Ray, but gives it out to Hammond. His three up there is good. Ties the score at six apiece. 16 and a half to play first half. Work it to the left side to Gerard, brings it out, then gives right wing to Slaymaker. Off the dribble, over tail, puts it up and in. Slaymaker had the height advantage there and was able to put it up and over tail. Eight to six. The riders to the right side, that is tail. Now up to Ray at the top, then back right. Around to IGD, he'll give to Hammond on the left side to the top, around to IGD, dribbles inside, falls down as there was contact. He had a collision with the uh, defender, Gerard, and a late call, a late whistle on Kent Gerard. He picks up the foul. Timeout, 15-43 in the first half. Eight to six, Southern Nazarene with the lead. This is Muir Rider Basketball. Bailey's Body Shop is your one-stop shop for collision repair. They can do it all, from handling the estimate for you to getting the information to your insurance company. Owner Danny Bailey has been doing auto body work for over 40 years, and Bailey Body Shop is built on quality and trust. You don't have to worry about it. They're there when you need them. When you need collision repair, trust Bailey's Body Shop, 2416 North Vine in Magnolia, 234-3303. Bot call back. Bot call back in each game with our bot call bank near water spotlight at the half. Also, the bot call bank keys to the game. And here's Andy Sharp. Hey, everyone, it's Andy Sharp. Happy to bring you another edition of our bot call bank keys to the game. Speaking from experience, there's nothing quite like coming home from a long Oklahoma road swing to play in front of the home crowd at WT. Recently, the Mule Riders have also put together their most complete game and will look to continue that trend this evening against Southern Naz. In order to do that, the Mule Riders must stay true to the process. They must turn defense into offense. Whenever the Mule Riders are flying around on defense, being disruptive, creating turnovers, getting in transition, good things happen. The Mule Riders must continue to attack the offensive glass while limiting turnovers, and they must stay together. Y'all stay safe out there and come see us at Bod Call Bank, 2125 North Jackson for what's ahead. C.J. Ray from Navy Tail down low, left side. He's able to score the two for SAU. We're tied at eight apiece in this game. 
Down the right side, Baker McCann hooks it across. Left it short. Loose ball. Tell goes to the floor, saves it to Ray. Eight all the score. Tell front court. Around they go to the right corner. It's Garrett. Garrett drives right baseline, and he got a bump. Yep, they're going to call a foul. And that'll be on Jonas Bissard. That's his first foul. So Mule Riders will inbound. First to change, Jaron Harris in the game for SAU. Replaces Navy Tell. And left baseline, Harris is going to throw it in for the Mule Riders. 15-11 first half. Bounce in underneath. IGD spins and lays it in. 10-8 Southern Arkansas. Get that lead back. Slaymaker up top. Gives off out there to Visser. Now we're around the left side. And then kick out to Zezik. Zezik works left with the dribble. Trying to bounce it inside. That was broken up, though, by Ray. Loose ball out to Hammond. Into the front court to Garrett. Then around they go. Out to Hammond at the top. Drives in. And he got hit going up. Missed off the glass. But he's going to the line to shoot a pair. That's on number one, Benno Zezik. That's his first. So it's Gregory Hammond Jr. at the free throw line for SAU with 14.38 to play in our first half. First free throw off the mark. Misses wide left. So a miss for Gregory. One more. On its way, that one will go. Made one of two. It's 11-8 SAU. Up the floor come the Crimson Storm. Worked it right, then out top. Now back right over to Slaymaker. Now they'll work it around the perimeter over to the left. Driving is Zezik into the paint. Dump off down low and a little uh, jump hook down there. Good for Keyshawn Mason, who had checked in. SAU front court to Harris. Right side comes left. Around to Garrett. Left wing. Three went long. Offensive board and a dump off underneath to Ray from Harris. And we got a foul as his shot was blocked. But a foul on Zezik. That's two on him. So it's going to send Ray to the line for SAU. At the 14-minute mark of this first half, C.J. leads this Mew Rider team in scoring just under 17 points a game. First free throw up and in. Into the game comes Muhammad Traore for SAU to replace Gregory Hammond, Jr. He was about five inches in that exchange. Uh, Traore, 6'2", out of Hyde Park, Massachusetts. Transferred to SAU from Franklin Pierce University. Second free throw for Ray, also good. 13-10, Mule Riders lead. Ben Baker McCann into the front court, out top Slaymaker. Now they work it to the left side with the dribble over there. Now bringing it out, and they work it around. And now up top to uh, Mason. Mason to Slaymaker, gives right side. Now Edelmeyer. Dribbles to the top, gives to McCann. McCann down in the paint, gets in low, and a little hesitation and a fake, and he dragged the pivot foot. So he turns it over to SAU. 13-34 to play, first half. And Baker McCann goes out, and for him, Sean Bartholomew. 13-10 SAU lead. Working right, Harris off over there to Traore. Now brings it out to Ray. Ray to uh, Igini. He had it knocked loose, and they get it ahead to Slaymaker on the break. Slaymaker misses off the glass, but we got a whistle. What's going against CJ? That's his first foul. First team foul on the Mule Riders. So it'll be two shots for Cam Slaymaker. 13-19 to play first half. At the half, got our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show coming your way. At the MRMC Primary Care Clinic, you always feel like family. Dr. Neal and Becky Pierce treat patients of all ages.
specialize in wellness checks and illness recovery. Call for an appointment, 235-3550. Both free throws good for Slaymaker. Cuts the SAU lead to a point. Harris right at the SAU end. Now out to, to Ray. Harris will take it back. Dribbles now bounces to a cutter up the left baseline. Igini scores on the reverse layup. 15-12 SAU. Slaymaker comes right. Gives out. Now they work it to the left side. Then back right. Over to Slaymaker. Drives in from the right side. He puts it up right baseline. No good. Ray pulls it down for SAU. Now Garrett, front court to Ray and around to IGD. IGD drives in low, goes up. His shot is blocked by Mason. And the Crimson Storm come up with a loose ball. They'll bring it into the front court. Work to the right side, Bartholomew. Now to Slaymaker at the top and around they go on the left wing. Then down low and a spin. And that came out of the hands of Mason. Somebody might have got a piece of it. And he turns it over to SAU. Work it right now up to the top to Ray. He drives. He puts it up down low. Goes down hard on the floor. And the Crimson Storm come up with the ball. No whistle there. They're letting him play so far. Give down to Mason. Then out to the wing to Bartholomew. He'll give up top to Slaymaker. Bartholomew comes to get it. 15 to shoot. Looking for a screen from Mason. Down the right side. Off balance. Off the glass. It goes for Sean Bartholomew. 15-14. They say you buy one. Work to the left corner, then back out. Around to Harris on the wing on the right side. Comes left with a screen. Gives to Garrett. Up the baseline. Throws across. Back around they come to Harris. Harris dribbles in. Runner, no good. A little floater wouldn't go down for Harris. And the Crimson Storm come away with it. It'll be Bartholomew to bring it up the floor. Muriders drop back defensively. Hammond goes to the scorer's table for SAU. Right to left. Over to Bartholomew. Bounces down low to Mason. And Mason kicks back to the corner. Three won't go for Bartholomew. And SAU's Garrett pulls it down. He'll bring it up the floor himself. Ahead to Harris. Then to the corner. Traore's three. No good. That's pulled down by Slaymaker for the Crimson Storm, and they're coming back the other way. Bartholomew dribbles to the right side, then back around they go to the left. Bounce in low, Mason backing in with Ray, turns, little jump hook low, no good. Garrett got that rebound, now ahead to Traore, back to Garrett at the top and around to Igedi. Gives to Harris over on the left side, around they go to Garrett. Dribbles in and threw it back toward the corner looking for Ray, but Ray thought he was going to shoot, and he had already cut up the baseline. So it's out of bounds, and we got a timeout. 10-19 to play for staff, 15-14 SAU. This is Muir Rudder Basketball. If you're a business owner, you have a lot on your mind. Have you thought about how you'll eventually leave it all behind? It's good to start considering your exit strategy early. You have three main options. You could sell or transfer to someone already affiliated with the company, such as a family member, business partner, or group of employees. You could sell to an unrelated third party, or you could simply liquidate. Each option may have advantages and disadvantages. Talk to an Edward Jones financial advisor, Mark Woods, Laura Kroll, Steve Hardy, or Patrick Dodd. Edward Jones, member SIPC. At L. Jennings Law, we understand that your legacy isn't just about assets. It's about family, future, and impact. Specializing in estate planning, elder law, and disability, we bring big firm expertise to our local community. Whether you're looking to protect your hard-earned wealth, navigate the complexities of elder care, or secure disability rights, we're here for you. Dial 501-501-WILL or visit ljenningslaw.com. Now with offices in Magnolia and Little Rock, L. Jennings Law, a good steward firm. Dan Gregory hanging around with you tonight. If yeah, if you're out here, I'm hanging around with you. We got a good crowd out here at the WT Watson Athletic Center. All that ice, all that being uh, cooped up at home. It's time to get out. We're having a good time here tonight. So far, one point lead for SAU. We had a battle in the first game before. Southern Nazarene was able to pull away late. Crimson Storm ball into the front court. Working to the left side now. Shot up from three over there as an air ball. 
Run down right side, though, by Bartholomew. They get it back out top. McCann's back in. He gives off left side to Coleman. All the way across and into the right corner. Bartholomew, three, no good. Garrett tipped it away from Visser, who's back out there. Went out of bounds off of Garrett. So it's going to stay with the Crimson Storm at their end. Bartholomew to throw it in on the left side. Got it over to McCann. And now up top they go to Coleman. Coleman feeds it low, and Visser got an easy one down low. He was in position down low, and once he got the ball, the rest was pretty easy for him. Near riders to the right corner to Treori. Dribbles out. Give to Garrett at the top. Now around to Till. Till back in. He comes left to right. Off over there, then out to Hammond. Dribbles down low. A floater won't go down, though. And uh, Ben Baker McCann pulled it down for Southern Nazarene and up the floor he comes. They're going from my left to right with the dribble out there with pressure from Hammond. They work it around to the left. Driving in from the left side and up from the reverse side, Tyrell Coleman off the bank. He puts it down. Six unanswered for Southern Nazarene. Your runners work it left to Garrett. He's got an open look from three and he nailed it. Needed that one. We're tied at 18. Eight minutes, 40 seconds remain. First half. Front court come the Crimson Storm. Work to the left side. Bringing it out, Bartholomew. And they'll go around right and right back out. That's Coleman. Coleman drives and a reach in from the side. Shot ends up going. Let's see if they give him continuation on that. Call a foul on Cedric Garrett. It's going to be his first. I don't think that bucket's going to count. I'm going to say that would have been worse than the NBA had, it, had they counted that one. Crimson Storm inbound on the right baseline. And to Coleman cutting down the right side, and he lost it out of bounds as he uh, caught it and tried to put it down immediately. And I, didn't, I couldn't see. I uh, had a couple of... Uh, bodies between me and him couldn't see whether it went off of his foot or or what was the case but it went out of bounds tail front court for the meal runs. works to the right side to IGD now back left top of the key that's Jesse Davis jr. in the game he hands off to tail ball knock loose into the back court tail back there he saves it to IGD in the back court brings it back across over on the right side give to Hammond and Hammond trying to drive, and ball slipped out of his hands and went out of bounds. They didn't have much shot clock, and he knew he had to be in a hurry, and he lost it out of bounds. Timeout was 7.56 to play. First half, tied at 18. This is Mirrorider Basketball. As you ring in the new year, why not start it off by choosing your next brand new pre-owned vehicle from Magnolia Motor Company? You can choose from one of the largest selections of certified pre-owned vehicles in the area with a team of professionals to help deliver an unforgettable buying experience. Choose Magnolia Motor Company for a great selection on the 7982 Bypass in Magnolia. Call 2344777 or visit our website at magnoliamotorcompany.com. Magnolia Motor Company, where remarkable savings meets exceptional quality. A message from Magnolia Regional Medical Center. If you're a woman over 40, getting a mammogram is smart. Choosing one that may be more accurate than your current screening, that's genius. Get a genius 3D mammography exam at Magnolia Regional Medical Center. Call 870-235-3516 to schedule today or visit magrmc.org slash mammo for more information. If you did not come out because you thought the roads were still a little bit too rough, well, Saturday afternoon, we're right back here taking on Oklahoma Baptist on Saturday afternoon, starting at 1 with the ladies and the guys after that. We'll have both games for you. Hope to see you out here. By the way, the Magnolia games tomorrow night have been postponed. They don't have school tomorrow, so they will not play tomorrow night either. So the Nazarene right side slaymaker tried to bounce it in low. That was... Deflected away out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Crimson Storm at their end. They'll inbound it on the right baseline. Slaymaker to throw it in. Lob in over there. Down low to Zezik. Zezik hits a cutter. 
Ben Baker McCann got wide open underneath and he got an easy lay in. That pass got to him. The rest was easy. Your Riders IGD out top. Hammond comes out from the left side for it. Now gives left to Ray, then right back to Hammond. Hammond with the dribble in low, off the glass, on the run, no good. Saves it, though, able to tip it out to Ray. And around they go, back to Hammond, right corner, three. That rolled the rim, no good. Scramble for the loose ball. It was knocked away from Zezic by uh, Navy Tail. And the Mule Riders keep possession. To the right side is Igidi. Down the right side with the dribble. Kicks back out to Till and around they go to Hammond. He bounces down to Ray. Poked away, but he gets it back. In low. Jump hook. Good for CJ. Ties the score at 20. 6.46 to play in the half. We've got a battle going on here. Slaymaker. Left to right out top. Gives to the big guy Visser who screened for him. Now they work it back to the right side. Driving down Slaymaker, and he lays it in. He got a quick first step, and he gets the two. Your riders to the left side, front court to Hammond. Slapped by uh, Slaymaker, but he got it back. Now drives in from the left side, in low, and doubled up late down low, and he tried to stop, but ball slipped out of his hands and went out of bounds. So another Mule Rider turnover will give it back to the Crimson Storm. That's turnover number five on SAU. The Crimson Storm was six. They work it to the right side. Zezik. Jesse! They're working it in low, and ball was knocked away. I don't think there's a foul. They're going to say out of bounds off the Crimson Storm. So SAU is going to bring it up the floor. Connor's a meat freak. <laughs> On top by GD. Right to tail, dribbles in low, tried to throw it across the baseline, but stepping in front, taking it away was Edelmeyer. And they'll come the other way after the Mule Rider turnover. Off right side to Zezik. Now they work it left over to McCann. He bounces low left side. Dribbling in under is Zezik. And Zezik dribbled out of bounds. Trying to come around a defender. And uh, dribbled on the baseline. So turns it over to SAU. Every game we spotlight a Mule Rider. Join us at halftime for our Bot Call Bank Mule Rider Spotlight. Bot Call Bank, local bank, local people. Enjoy the hometown Banking at Bot Call Bank. Left side raised three. No good. Long rebound out to IGD. To the corner. Hammond gives it right back out. IGD drives and snuffs it. Anthony IGD with the two to tie the score at 22 apiece. Now it's Slaymaker for the Crimson Storm. They work it to the left side to Edelmeyer. Now throwing down low. And Mason misses off the glass. Board to IGD ahead. To the right side to Hammond. Feeds in low to Caldwell. Caldwell had it knocked loose. Got it back though. And he lays it in. Christian Caldwell with the two. SAU is back on top. 24 to 22. Baker McCann out top. He drives the paint. Finger roll up and in for Ben Baker McCann. That ties the score at 24 apiece. One team scores at the one end. The other team scores at the other. Just back and forth. In low. Tail had his shot blocked by McCann. And McCann down with a loose ball for Southern Nazarene. So they have a chance to take the lead. Works it to the right side. Now out top to Slaymaker. Then right back to McCann on the right wing. Then right back to Slaymaker. Drives into the paint. And he puts one up off balance. Loose ball. Air ball. Hammond has it into the front court. He throws it away. Zezik picked it off. Three on one break. Ray comes out. He caused him to change the shot. Missed and missed the foul. But then Zezik able to put it down. 26-24. Crimson Storm. It was three on one against CJ. And CJ stopped the first two tries. But they got it on the third. 
Hammond out to Ray at the top. Ray with the dribble to his left. Hammond now comes right with a screen. Now down the paint. Spin move with the left hand off the glass. It is good. Now it's 26 on. Back the other way we come. Like I said, it's just uh, back and forth here. McCann drives in low. A reach by Hammond knocked it loose. Loose ball to Caldwell ahead to Ray. Ray gets it ahead to Till. Knocked away from him. Caldwell had it missed off the side of the rim. And it's going to end up out of bounds. Touched last by Southern Nazarene. It'll be SAU ball on the right baseline. 26 all with 250 to play first half. This is Murewriter basketball. Car dealerships are not the same. Hi, Jim Golden with Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln, and Camden. The difference is we consider our customers part of our family, and families take care of each other. There's no such thing as an unhappy customer when you do business with us. And if you have a problem, we have a problem, and we're going to fix it. That's just how we do business at Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln. Come see what it's like to buy from family. I'm Jim Golden, and I'll guarantee you'll like it. Come see for yourself why we say at Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln, and Camden, where the dealer makes the difference. Vodcall Bank has known the benefit of hometown banking for over 120 years, and we are proud to offer you just that with local leadership and local decisions. Hi, I'm Gina Gore, Vice President of Vodcall Bank. Come see us in Stamps or visit one of our other locations in Magnolia or Texarkana. We are committed to making your experience as our customer priority one. Whatever your banking needs may be, Vodcall Bank is here and ready for what's ahead. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And a reminder of listening at halftime for our Vodkal Bank Mule Riders Spotlight. Vodkal Bank, three locations to serve you in Magnolia on North Jackson, also in Stamps on Thomas Street, and in Texarkana on the Texas side on Richmond Road. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Vodkal Bank. 26 all. Mule Rider ball right baseline, inbound right side to Hammond. Into the corner to Harris, who threw it in. Gives to Ray on the right baseline. And across to Harris. A three after the catch won't go down. Run. Crimson Storm Coleman comes away with it. Now up the floor comes Baker McCann. Over to the left side. Gives to Edelmeyer, bringing it out. Gives to Slaymaker up top. His three is good. 29-26. That is, I believe, the first three of the game for the Crimson Storm. It is. They're one of five. There's a tip on a pass to the left side. Tipped away by Coleman. Goes out of bounds. So he'll stay with SAU. They'll end down on the left side. 29-26. Crimson Storm with the lead on SAU. IGD to throw it in for SAU. And out top to Treori. Comes left with a screen, gives back right to Ray out top. Now around IG. Then up to Hammond. Hammond drives the paint, puts it off the glass. It'll go down, and he's going to the line. Got a chance to tie it with the free throw. The foul on Edelmeyer. It's his first. So Hammond will shoot one. Count the bucket. 29-28. So the Naz right now, and the free throw, in and out, no good. Tipped by Ray, he got a piece of it, but that wouldn't go, and Coleman came away with it. So one-point lead, Crimson Storm with the ball. Edelmeyer up top, hand off to Slaymaker. They work it to the left side. Back to McCann, who brought it up the floor. Dribbles right, into the paint, and it knocked loose. Scramble for the loose ball, it goes out of bounds, and it's touched last by Harris. 10 to shoot, a minute 43 on the game clock here in the first half. First, we've got a timeout. 29-28, Southern Naz with the lead. This is Muir Rider basketball. What do I like about being a local agent for Farm Bureau Insurance? Above all, I like helping people, using my insurance experience to make Columbia County a better, safer place. Insurance is a necessity, and I take pride in helping people find the right coverage for all of their needs. Hi, I'm Mike Jones, Agency Manager at Farm Bureau Insurance. Give me a call at 
234-1966 and let me show you how we can save you time and money. Oh boy, battle back and forth, back and forth. Either team, I don't think either team has led by more than three points here in the first half so far. Yep, three, yep, three for us, three for them. Crimson's turn ball left sideline. Edelmeyer to throw it in. Pressure by Treori, but he got it in to Baker McCann. Tried to throw it low and tipped away by CJ as they were shooting low to Keyshawn Mason. Ray, though, tipped it away out of bounds. Stays with the Crimson Storm. Six to shoot as they inbound right baseline. And low looking McCann. Got it in to Coleman. Coleman out toward the corner. Dribbles in. A reach throw from the side. Hammond. And Hammond broke it up. He doubled down and able to slap it away. Now IGD. Up top for SAU. To the right side to Harris. Excuse me. That's uh, Treori. Dribbled out. Hands to Ray now. And then back to Treori right corner. Drive right baseline. Looks it back to Hammond. Hammond gives to Garrett at the top. His three. Got it. Cedric Garrett. Second three of the evening. 31-29 SAU. McCann off to Slaymaker out top. They'll work it left side over to Coleman. Now around to Edelmeyer. Steps back. No shot. Gives it to Coleman. Drives. Throws right to Slaymaker. Picks up his dribble. Lobs to uh, teammate coming across. And then dribbling in low Coleman. And Coleman foul going up. He'll get two foul on C.J. That'll be two on C.J. Ray. So, to the line, Tyrell Coleman shoots two with 47.3 left in the first half. And Coach Quinn's going to use his use it or lose it timeout with 47.3 to play in the first half. SAU by two. This is Muirwater Basketball. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool, too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. It cannot be combined with combo meal. Two shots coming here for Tyrell Coleman. That was the second foul on, uh, well, I've got him for two. They've only got one on the board. Let's see. CJ. Personal foul. Yeah, he's got two. Coleman's at the line, and he's still in the game. Coleman at the line. Free throw. No good. Shooting two. Can't tie the score this trip to the line. One more free throw for Coleman. It's on its way. And that one's no good. IGD up to get it for SAU. Now Treori brings it up the floor. About 16 seconds difference between the shot clock and game clock. Garrett out top. Dribbles into the paint. Feeds it low then to IGD. Knock loose. Got it back. Tiptoes the baseline as he brings it across with the dribble to the right side. Now bounce down to Ray. 23 seconds in the half. Skip across to Garrett. Left corner, three. Went long. McCann pulls down the loose ball for the Crimson Storm. They'll hold it for the last shot. 12 seconds left in the half. Baker McCann with the dribble back at the midcourt circle. Now Treori with pressure. Long three. Baker McCann misses. Ray rebound. Launches it from three-quarter court. It won't go down. And that brings us to the half. SAU by two at the half. 31-29. This is Rider basketball. Football is better with friends and banking is better with People's Bank. We're offering a CD rate of 5.01 annual percentage yield for 10 months. 
Minimum balance is $1,000. This offer is effective and APY is accurate from June 1st, 2023 and is subject to change at any time. Don't pass. Rush in to see us today. Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. See bank for details. People's Bank. Member FDIC. Know what's nice? You could drive to Whataburger right now, if you wanted to. Yeah, you could hang a Louie, talk to Reggie at the counter, and get a freshly made 100% beef double meat Whataburger with melted cheese and fresh cut veggies on a 5-inch bun. It's just the delicious freedom you have living in the land where there's Whataburger. Of course, some people aren't in that land. Wonder what they're doing right now. Probably thinking about a road trip. Whataburger. Just like you like it. With Chambliss and Davis Family Practice, you can look and feel your best cheering on your favorite team. Chambliss and Davis see patients of all ages, from newborn to elderly. They do primary care, weight loss management, DOT physicals, cool scoping, BioT hormone physicals, and more. They're open Monday through Thursdays from 8 till 4 and Fridays 8 till noon. The office of Chambliss and Davis is accepting new patient applications with most insurances accepted, including United Healthcare. Doctors Chambliss and Davis, where your primary care is their primary concern. What are you waiting for? Stop warming the bench and join a winning team at the Corner Clubhouse on the Magnolia Square. The Corner Clubhouse is currently hiring for kitchen and waitstaff positions. Email your resume to tccmagnolia at gmail.com or stop by 100 South Washington and fill out an application. If you don't have a resume, just email your information. No phone calls, please. For updates, follow the Corner Clubhouse on Facebook. The Corner Clubhouse, serving South Arkansas since 2016. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, see shelter agent Gary Don Farah. Back with you on our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show. You always feel tired and exhausted even after a night of sleep. You may suffer from a variety of common sleep disorders. The Magnolia Regional Medical Center Sleep Lab can diagnose disorders and get you on your way to a full night's rest. Ask your health care provider about a sleep study at Magnolia Regional Medical Center. SAU up by two at the half, 31 to 29 over the Crimson Storm of Southern Nazarene. First half shooting, 13 for 27 from the field for Southern Naz. That's 48 percent. SAU 12 out of 28, 43 percent from three. One out of six for the Crimson Storm, 17 percent. SAU four for 13 from three for 31 percent. So they have the team really shooting the ball real well from three point range. The New Riders have taken considerably more three attempts than the Crimson Storm have here tonight so far. At the free throw line, Crimson Storm two for four. SAU is three for five. Southern Naz with the rebounding edge, 19 to 12 over SAU. But they have committed more turnovers as well. They, they have 10 turnovers at the half. SAU with seven. Uh, SAU has not converted all of those into points, though, as uh, the points off turnovers even at 10 apiece. Snoo with the uh, with the, with a presence inside a 22-16 advantage on scoring in the paint and a 6-4 edge on second chance points for Southern Nazarene. Let's check the individual numbers for you here in the first half. For uh, Southern Naz, they were led by Cam Slaybank, Slaymaker with uh, nine points and four rebounds for him. Six points for Ben Baker McCann. He's their leading rebounder. He's their point guard. He's their leading rebounder with seven. Four points for Jonas Visser. Two points for Benno uh, Zezik. Got to look through my pronunciation. Got him. I didn't have it written down on my uh, on my score sheet here on my stat sheet. Uh, let's see. Two points also for Kent Gerard. 
two for Keyshawn Mason, two for Tyrell Coleman, and two for Sean Bartholomew. SAU led the first half by Gregory Hammond. Greg had a very good first half with one exception. He had three turnovers, but he also had three steals, and he dished out an assist, and he leads the team, leads all scorers, as a matter of fact, with 11 points and pulled down a couple of boards, too. Six apiece for C.J. Ray, Anthony IGD, and Cedric Garrett for SAU. And the only other mule rider to score is Christian Caldwell with two. So SAU by two at the half in a very low scoring first half. 31-29 SAU leads. And we'll continue with more on our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show after this. This is mule rider basketball. Farmers Bank and Trust has always been about local service and investment in our community. And to prove that, we've just opened a brand new full service branch in Welcome at our Arklow location. We've also opened a new My Farmers Eye Teller ITM for extended live teller coverage in Taylor. These branches will offer all of our great services and even more convenience for our customers. So stop by today and come home to Farmers Bank. Farmers Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Hey guys, Lucas Cheatham here. Kick off the new year with the new you. My mom, Christy, and her team at Health Quest Therapy want to help you feel your best while knocking down those new year resolutions. Health Quest Therapy offers one-on-one -on -one care, dry needling, speech therapy, LSBT big, physical therapy, and more. Stop by 1515 East Main Street or visit healthquesttherapy.net. New year means it's time for a new you. Stop by Health Quest Therapy today. At your service, Environmental Solutions has been serving not only the Magnolia community, but all of South Arkansas since 1986. At your service is a locally owned distributor of cleaning equipment and chemicals, janitorial supplies, trash bags, food service items, and paper products. At your service also provides quality professional cleaning services for homes or businesses on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. For more details, visit atyourservicestore.com or stop by 1506 North Vine in Magnolia. At your service, Environmental Solutions. We know the power of clean. It's mighty hard to resist an odor of Domino's Loaded Tots. You have your choice of three different mouth-watering toppings. There's Domino's Cheddar Bacon Loaded Tots with a perfect combo of gooey cheese and crisp bacon. Or how about Domino's Philly Cheesesteak Loaded Tots? Or last but not least, Domino's Melty Three Cheese Loaded Tots covered with a blend of mozzarella, cheddar, and provolone cheese. Plus Alfredo sauce. Add some Loaded Tots to your next Domino's order. Order online or on the Domino's app and earn piece of the pie rewards. Winning in sports is about calling the right play, followed by flawless execution. If you need a hotel in Magnolia, the right play is to call Holiday Inn Express. Then their team will execute your stay with a clean, comfortable room, fresh, hot breakfast with healthy options, and access to their fitness center and Wi-Fi, along with plus one reward points for your stay. Call the right play for your visiting friends and associates. Call the Holiday Inn Express in Magnolia. If you're like most Americans, you spend over eight hours a week in your car. So naturally, you want to be satisfied with its performance. That's why you need to know about Spitler Tire and Auto. Folks around here have been trusting Spitler Tire and Auto for over 17 years. They have 10 service bays to handle all kinds of repairs, tune-ups, brakes, mufflers, oil changes, tires, and more. Whatever your car or truck needs, trust the experts at Spitler Tire and Auto in the Dairy Queen Shopping Center, 521 East Main in Magnolia. Magnolia Travel Center is the only homegrown fuel stop in Magnolia and now offers fresh ground beef, brisket, sirloin, ribs, fillets, and more, grain-fed or grass-fed. They have premium non-ethanol gas. They also offer off-road diesel for tractors, farm equipment, and more. These fueling options are offered at your convenience night or day, seven days a week. Endless breakfast options, daily lunch specials, the Flavor Shot Fountain Center, salads, lower prices with a local feel. Menus available at magnoliatravelcenter.com. Back on our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show. You don't have to leave Magnolia to receive high-level surgical care. The staff at the Magnolia Regional Medical Center Surgical Clinic provide both inpatient and outpatient surgical services right here at home. Just give them a call for more information at 235-3600. That's uh, halftime. SAU by 2, 31 to 29. Uh, time for our... Mule Rider Spotlight brought to you by Bot Call Bank. 
three locations to serve you 307 Thomas Street in Stamps, 2125 North Jackson in Magnolia, and at 3625 Richmond Road in Texarkana. Bud Call Bank's been serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Bud Call Bank, local bank, local people. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Bud Call Bank. We're going to the SAU softball team for our Bud Call Bank Mule Rider Spotlight. A freshman, as a matter of fact, on the SAU softball team, Emily Jenk. Jenk, excuse me, I'm sorry, that's an E, not a C. Emily Janik, my apologies. Emily Janik, she is from Italy, Texas. Uh, the daughter of Dennis and Courtney Janik. And again, she's a freshman on the SAU softball team. She played uh, high school ball, graduated in 2022 from the Italy High School Gladiators. She played volleyball and softball in, um, in high school. Um, hobbies other than than uh, other than sports she likes spending time with her family and friends most memorable moment in sports was breaking the school record by going far in the playoffs so she enjoyed the heck out of that and uh, and rightfully so person that she admires the most is her granddaddy says because of his strong worth at work ethic um, why she chose southern arkansas because of the good softball program she's majoring in psychology minoring in criminal justice so far her favorite moment as a mule rider has been uh, going to mule gating before the uh, mule rider football games so again in our butt call bank mule rider spotlight is emily janik emily janik from italy texas a freshman on the sau softball team sau at the half, up 31-29. Checking some other scores. All the, all the ladies' scores are in. SAU ladies, they hung with Southern Nazarene most of the night. And then Southern Nazarene, their largest lead of the night came at the end. They they won at 72-59 over SAU. Other women's action. Washita won at home over East Central, 64-55. Henderson State, a winner at home, 75-69 over Southeastern Oklahoma State. Harding at home defeated Southwestern Oklahoma State 79-72. Arkansas Tech, a winner at home 64-54 over Northwestern Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma Baptist won at UAM this afternoon. 69-60 is the final in that one. They ought to be about done with their uh, men's game over there also at uh, at uam we'll see if we can uh, bring up that score for you but and maybe catch you up during the uh, second half on some of the other action going on around the uh, men's side of the great american conference but right now that's going to wrap up our magnolia regional medical center halftime show and uh, we're going to take one final break we'll come back with the second half this is Muir rider basketball Rocket fast, car wash. Rocket fast. It's a blast. And your vehicle is clean. Spark and clean in four minutes. We'll show you how. Get as clean as can be. Yeah, baby. Right now. Come on down. You will see. A great wash. Free vacuum. Gold technology. Rocket fast, car wash. Rocket fast. It's a blast. And your vehicle is clean. Now with more locations to better serve you in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas. Getting your prescriptions filled is easy at Prince Pharmacy in Magnolia. Become one of their many satisfied customers. You can refill your prescriptions with Prince Pharmacy's mobile app, also with their website, princepharmacyrx.com. Prince Pharmacy has a 24-hour refill line, too. 234-7292. Call before noon for same-day free delivery. They have a convenient drive through too at Prince Pharmacy in the Southern Medical Group Clinic at 211 East Stadium in Magnolia. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, the experienced team at Southern Caregivers provides expert care to you and your loved ones. Southern Caregivers also provides needed support for seniors, allowing them to remain in the comfort of their own home and maintain their independence. The nurturing and caring companions can be matched to meet emotional, spiritual, and physical needs of the individuals they care for. Call 501-463-9990 today and speak with one of our professionals or visit southerncaregiversar.com. Final 
Monticello did win the men's game over there as well, 59-57 over Oklahoma Baptist. Southern Nazarene first possession here in the second half in men's action, SAU leading 31-29. Left side, Gerard. He'll throw it back out top. Slaymakers three on the way and good. So Slaymaker scores quickly in the second half. And the Crimson Storm have regained the lead, 32 to 31. Maybe Tail works right, gives it over there to Hammond. Now up top, IGD. Caldwell comes to get it. They'll work it back left, then to the top, Ray. Flash now, dribbles down the right side, fakes, then goes up and puts it in. Jump hook there from CJ. Puts the Muir Riders back on top, 33 to 32 over the Crimson Storm. Slaymaker dribbles right. Down the right side, a reach. Hammond knocked it loose. Muir Riders up with a loose ball. Into the front court side. Driving in Hammond. Gives to CJ trailing. And CJ lays it in. And he goes to the line. Count that bucket foul on Benno Zizek. And it'll be his third. So CJ to the line. For SAU. 18.57 to play in this game. And the free throw for CJ on the way, and he got it. Puts him in double figures with 11 points, and it's 36 32 SAU. Your Riders in a 2 3 zone. To work it to the right side, this Crimson Storm do. McCann over there, off the dribble. Slaymaker comes out, then gives out to McCann. And around left side to Zezik. Dribbles down the paint now and puts it up off the buck, off the uh, backboard. Good. 36-34. Front court left side, Tell. They're working around IGD on the right side. Down toward the baseline, picks up, gives back to Caldwell. Dribbles in the paint, slipping, but saves to Tell. Now around they come to the right side, IGD. Back to Hammond at the top. He drives, shoveled up, no good. He got it back. Clears it out to the left corner to Tell. It was tipped away there, and it's going to be out of bounds to SAU. So they're going to inbound left sideline down at the corner at their own end. And to Tell over on the left side brings it out. It's to Caldwell beyond the left elbow. Now Ray, race three on the on the way. Had to rush it a little bit behind the screen as the shot clock was winding down. And uh, your writers uh, just, just lost track of the shot clock there. McCann front court right side at the Crimson Storm end. Give off over there. Trying to feed it in low to Visser, but Caldwell able to bat that away. So it'll be out of bounds to the Crimson Storm. Caldwell comes out, gear it in for SAU. Right baseline. Crimson Storm will throw it in there. Zezik's going to throw it in. And to uh, Gerard. And now out to Zezik. He dumps it in low. Gerard missed a chippy inside. Gear it away with it. Ahead to Ray on the break, and he stuffs it down. C.J. Ray with the two, 38-34, Southern Arkansas. Crimson Storm to the right side. C.J. just had a half a step on the defender there and was able to uh, stuff it. Let quick three on the left side for Zezik at the other end. He answers, 38-37. Murata lead cut to one. Give down to Ray on the right corner. C.J. with the dribble in closer. He turns, step back, a shot no good. In and out, pulled down by Visser. Crimson Storm into the front court, Slaymaker at top. Now to McCann trailing. He dribbles down low, gets in under, and then he got too far behind the backboard and then stepped back out. And he's foul going up. He two shots coming here. Foul on Navy Tell is his first. So it's 16 minutes and 52 seconds in the second half. To the line to shoot a pair is Ben Baker McCann for the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm. The first free throw is good. That ties the score at 38. 
Till goes out. Jay Barnes in the game for SAU to take his place. Junior out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Second free throw goes as well for Baker McCann. Crimson Storm on top, 39-38. Barnes out top, comes right, looks back left to Garrett. Nailed a three-pointer out top of the key. 41-39, SAU regains the lead. Back into that zone. I think they may have gone back to man now. Around they go right side. Now up top, McCann gives around. They get it down to the left corner. Zezik driving the baseline. Ball slips out, but he gets it back. Now right wing for three. Went long for Edelmeyer. Ray pulls it down. Get it ahead to IGD. Now they come front court left side. IGD dribbles in. Reverse layup. Good for Anthony IGD. 43 to 39. Out top, McCann dribbles down, kicks out right side. Zezik dribbles in low, threw back out to McCann. Drives up baseline, off the bank. Good for Baker McCann. 43-41 SAU. Up top, IGD. Muriders now will back it out. Out to Barnes. Now Garrett up top three. Good for Cedric Garrett. 46-41 SAU. 15 and a half to play. McCann to the left side. Edelmeyer brings it around. Now back left over to Baker McCann. Lobs it down on the left baseline. Visser dribbles in, then kicks to the right corner. Zezik's three, no good. Up to get it, IGD for SAU. Here comes Barnes into the front court, over to IGD, then right back out. SAU by five. Driving Barnes down low. Kick back out to IGD. He's up top, pressure from Slaymaker. Now IGD dribbles, and on down the paint he goes. Split two defenders, but he missed the way up. And the Crimson Storm come the other way. Edelmeyer, front court to Zezic. Zezic on the right side. Now out top, Baker McCann hooks off left side. Slaymaker's three. He nailed it. 46-44. The rider lead is cut to two. That young man, uh, Slaymaker, can sure shoot a three. Up top, Garrett at the SAU end. He'll pop it off the dribble. Went a little long. He was at two-point range. Knocked loose by Barnes, but so the Nazarene comes up with it. They come front court. Right side, McKeon picks up, bounces down to Zezic on the right baseline. Then out to Edelmeyer. Three up there. Good. Jackson Edelmeyer scores it. Then he puts the Crimson Storm on top. Near riders with Barnes. Out to IGD. And now around they come right side. Over to, to uh, Hammond. Back around the perimeter of the left side now. Down to the left corner to Garrett. One dribble out. Now bounce to Ray. Spins around a defender. Drives reverse layup. Good for CJ Ray. That'll put the Muir riders back on top with 13-20 to play. 48-47. Right side McCann. At the Crimson Storm end with the dribble. Out to Slaymaker. Quick three. Got another one. Slaymaker's fourth three-pointer. Puts him up 50 to 48. Boy, he gets it off so quickly, too. Up top is Barnes with the dribble. Down the right side. Circles. Throw that out, but didn't throw it far enough. Intercepted by Zezik. Zezik drives up the floor. And then had it batted away out of bounds as he was trying to take it in down low. Timeout with 12.42 to play in this game. 50-48 Southern Naz. This is Muir Rutter basketball. 
With Chambliss and Davis Family Practice, you can look and feel your best cheering on your favorite team. Chambliss and Davis see patients of all ages, from newborn to elderly. They do primary care, weight loss management, DOT physicals, cool scoping, BioT hormone physicals, and more. They're open Monday through Thursdays from 8 till 4 and Fridays 8 till noon. The office of Chambliss and Davis is accepting new patient applications with most insurances accepted, including United Healthcare. Doctors Chambliss and Davis, where your primary care is their primary concern. I'm Faith Armstrong. If you worry about your safety or your loved ones, Columbia County Ambulance Service would like you to know about CareLink. CareLink provides an instant link to emergency response every minute, every day. The standard version provides protection surrounding the home, and a mobile unit offers protection anywhere. The area covered includes Columbia, Hempstead, Nevada, Washita, Lafayette Counties, and Claiborne Parish. Call Columbia County Ambulance today to schedule your installation. only knows where this one's going to be when the night is through. Right now, two-point lead for the Crimson Storm of Southern Nazarene University. Their largest lead tonight has been three. SAU's largest lead has been five, which was just moments ago at 46-41. But then the uh, Crimson Storm were uh, able to come back. They went on a little 9-2 to run to regain the lead. It'll be Crimson Storm Ball left baseline to inbound at their end of the floor. Up by two. Slane Maker throw it in. In on the left baseline to Zizek. Hammond there defending. Tried to dribble in low. He jump hooks over Hammond. No good. Rebound Ray. Ahead to Tell. Front court right side Garrett. Cedric Garrett backs out. Now Tell will bring it out with the dribble. Now between the circles, back to the right side. Now to Garrett at the top and back right to Tell. Tell comes left with a screen. He drives, puts it off the run, off the glass on the run. No good. Out of bounds, though, the rebound, and it's going to be SAU ball. They'll inbound right baseline at their end. Down by two, 50-48. Domino's postgame show coming up after the game tonight. Stay with us for that. Inbound to Garrett, right wing three, good off the inbound play. That's his fifth three. 51 50, SAU back on top. McCann bounces down to the right corner. Zezik dribbles in low, up over a Hammond with a jump hook, no good off the glass. McCann's follow won't go. Ray clears, gets it ahead to tell. Tell front court into the paint, then kick left to Garrett. Three, a little short. Long rebound out top. McCann tracked it down. He takes it down the floor. Runner off the bank. Good for Ben Baker McCann. 52-51. Guess what? We changed lead again. 52-51 Southern Nazarene. Tail to the right side. Now out to Garrett. Then right back to Navy. Comes left with a screen. Down the paint. He drives in low. Up off the bank. It'll go. Tried to roll off the front of the rim, but it just refused. And Tell's going to the line to try to make it a three-point play. Fouled by Jackson Edelmeyer. But first, a timeout. With 11-17 to play, SAU by one, 53-52. This is Mirrorwater Basketball. As you ring in the new year, why not start it off by choosing your next brand new pre-owned vehicle from Magnolia Motor Company? You can choose from one of the largest selections of certified pre-owned vehicles in the area with a team of professionals to help deliver an unforgettable buying experience. Choose Magnolia Motor Company for a great selection on the 7982 Bypass in Magnolia. Call 2344777 or visit our website at magnoliamotorcompany.com. Magnolia Motor Company, where remarkable savings meets exceptional quality. Tri-County Oil is a proud sponsor of SAU Mule Rider Sports. Tri-County is your number one source for a complete line of Exxon Mobile Oils, K1 Kerosene, Mineral Spirits, Antifreeze, No Tax Farm Diesel, Tax Paid Road Diesel, and 91 Octane Non-Ethanol Gasoline, plus gear oil, grease, motor and hydraulic oil, transmission fluids, and more. Tri-County Oil on North Vine in Magnolia. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5. Why would you go anywhere else for oil or gas? We appreciate your business at Tri-County Oil. Oil. 
the game, going to name our People's Bank player of the game. Refer a friend to People's Bank if your friend opens any checking account. You and your friend both receive a thank you gift. Visit referpbmag.com to earn your choice of an Amazon gift card or the current featured gift. Free checking and free gifts at People's Bank. Member FDIC. It's all part of our Domino's post-game show. Carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's. All their one-topping pizzas included also on any of their crusts. Any of their five crusts at Domino's. Tail at the line, trying to finish off a three-point play. And yes, he does. So it's 54-52 SAU. Don't blink. The score's liable to change hands again. In a moment. Around we come to the left side, Edelmeyer. That's the Crimson Storm. He holds it there. Now bounces to Zezik coming across. Zezik trying to back his way in with Hammond. Gets it into the paint. Fakes, then goes up. Blocked by Hammond. It goes out of bounds. Zezik at 6'4 is determined to post up with seven, Hammond. Six, Hammond 6'7. Six, six. And Hammond blocked it away that time. Zezik's going to inbound again, this time from the left baseline. Bounce in underneath the Slaymaker. Goes up, blocked by Ray, but Ray whistled for a foul. That's going to be three on CJ. Still a lot of time left in this game. And CJ just has two fouls left to give. At the line goes Cam Slaymaker. The shoot a pair. The first is good. This guy's a pretty good shoot. He's only listed as the 36% free throw shooter on the year, or three point shooter rather, on the year, but uh, he's topping that tonight. And he ties the score with the two free throws at 54 apiece. Kell comes into the front court. The screen goes right, then gives back to the top. Ray down into the paint, puts it up, won't go down. IGD the rebound, and as he pulled it down, Keyshawn Mason came over his back. So Mason with his first foul. And uh, Muir Riders will inbound on the right baseline. That's just the third team foul on Snoo. So SAU ball right baseline at their end. Garrett's going to throw it in. Ray's going to get a break with his three fouls. Butter is going through. Now give out to Hammond. Dribbles to the top. Gives back right to Garrett. Dribbled in and gave back to Hammond. Three up top. Won't go down. Bartholomew with the board for Snoop. So they have a chance to regain the lead. Up the floor he comes with the dribble at top. Goes right. Picks up, gives back left, Edelmeyer, and around to Slaymaker. Backs up left corner, couldn't get it off. Igidi was there. Bounce off to Mason. Dribbles in low, fake, got Caldwell in the air, then missed off the side of the rim. And the rebound to SAU. Up front, down low, Caldwell, left side. Caldwell looking, throws it out to Hammond. Hammond waits for help to come out. Now dribbles down into the paint, takes it all the way through. Was getting ready to go up with it, and he got hit. Down to the floor, he goes. Foul on Zezik. Two shots coming. Four fouls on Benno Zezik. So two shots for Greg Hammond. 944 to play in the game. Carry out a deal for only 99 at Domino's. First free throw, no good. Included in those 799 carry out deals. Eight piece wings or boneless chicken. Also, Domino's dip and bread twist combos. Also, all their one topping pizzas. Just 799 each. Domino's and Magnolia and Kim. All those specials are carry out. One more free throw for Hammond. That'll go. Made one of two. And Ray gets back in as Hammond comes out. SAU back up 55-54. The runners waiting defensively to match up man-to-man. -man. Around the Crimson Storm go to the left side, then out to Edelmeyer and on around 
to the right side, Bartholomew, then back out, then right back to Bartholomew for three, and he connected. I'll tell you what, it seems like any one of these guys, when they get an open look, they're going to drain it. The Riders get it low left side to Caldwell into the paint, dribbles under, reverse layup, good for Christian Caldwell. We're tied at 57. Again, Navy! Working right, Crimson Storm, come back left, left side, Coleman. Ray there to pressure him, he gets it out to Bartholomew. Another three, that one went long, long rebound. And it's run down in the left corner by Coleman. Gets it out to Bartholomew. And we got a whistle. The shot clock apparently uh, didn't reset fast enough. And the official, I like that. I like that whistle. That kind of slowed them down. They were ready to attack again after the offensive board. Come on, White. Come on, but official stopped that. So it's, uh, Southern Naz will inbound on the left sideline now. Bartholomew to throw it in. Gets it to Baker McCann coming out. Get the dribble out between the circles. Now comes back left with a screen from Mason. Now they'll get it around to Coleman. Coleman right wing. Back up top and around to McCann left wing. Two to shoot. Dribble up top. Edelmeyer lost it. Picked up right wing and launched by Coleman. But uh, the shot clock ran out. Didn't matter. It went up off the top of the backboard and went out of bounds anyway. So it was uh, SAU ball anyway. Tell crosses midcourt for SAU. Comes to the right side. Picks up. Gives high to Caldwell. Dribbles down low. Spins in traffic and trying to go up. He was held. That'll be Tyrell Coleman. This first. So Caldwell's going to get a pair at the line. 8-14 to play in this game. But this is a battle. Two for Caldwell. Out of Natchitoches, Louisiana. Played at Bossier Parish Community College before coming here. First free throw good. They say you back on top. 58-57. One more for Caldwell. That is up and down. Got them both. 59-57, SAU. Over on the left side, Bartholomew gives it, then takes it. Now bounce down, Mason. Backing in with Caldwell. Fake steps back, jump hook, no good. And it's cleared by Ray for SAU. Off to IGD. SAU by two. Can they add to it? Front court give to tell. 7.48 to play in the game. Next break in action will be a media timeout. Bounce the left side over to IGD. Comes right with a dribble. Gives back left to Garrett. Now high to Caldwell. Throws over to the corner. Off the mark a little. IGD comes up with it. Dribbles into the paint. Into a crowd. Knock loose. Got it back. And it stripped again. Went to Ray. But Ray can't get the shot off before the shot clock violation. Timeout 727 to play. 59-57 SAU. This is Murewater Basketball. As an investor, time can be your greatest ally. When you invest for the long term, you can achieve impressive cumulative growth, though there are no guarantees. Each year, check progress toward your goals. If you're falling behind, adjust your investment mix or the goals themselves. For longer-term goals, consider a number of growth-oriented investments. But for shorter-term goals, you may want fewer fluctuations in value. Also, your risk tolerance may change over time. Talk to an Edward Jones financial advisor, Steve Hardy, Mark Woods, Patrick Dodd, or Laura Kroll. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Turning around the GAC, Monticello winner at home over Oklahoma Baptist, 59 to 57. Up at Bill Vining Arena in Arkadelphia, Washtenaw trailing 36-35 to East Central University at Arkadelphia at Henderson State. Southeastern leading 51-47. They got a little over 15 minutes left in that game. Uh, Northwestern Oklahoma State leading 31-26 at Arkansas Tech. They just got started in the second half. 
coming up in Searcy. I know I got it here somewhere. Harding trailing. No, they're winning. They're they're beating Southwestern 36 to 23 with about 18 minutes left in that game. Snowball before they come. They trail SAU by two. Slaymaker takes it out top. Now gives back right over to Baker McCann. Back to Slaymaker. Comes left over there to Bartholomew. Dribbles up and bounces in low as Visser got open down low. And they got it to him and he ties the score 59 all with the lay in. Tell drives around his man, takes all the way to the hole, and he gets the lay in. Tell saw that it was open and they could beat his man. He did. He scored the two. Slaymaker up top. Off left, Barthelemy give down, then takes it back. Now Slaymaker and around to McCann. McCann trying to dribble in from the right side, gets in low, and he puts it up as he draws contact, and the shot goes down. So a chance for a three-point play. Garrett called for the foul. That'll be two on Cedric Garrett and Ben Baker McCann with a chance for a three-point play. 6.36 to play. Ray out as Hammond's back in for SAU. Free throw good for Baker McCann. Three-point play puts the Crimson Storm back on top. Uh, Till brings it the other way for SAU. They're going from my left to right. Works right with the dribble, then out top to Garrett. Garrett dribbles left. He wanted a three, but was too closely covered. Now gets it back then to Hammond. Hammond up top. Back to Garrett, left wing. Feeds to the corner. Till feed low. Two hands slammed up. That's Mr. Christian Caldwell. And he makes it 63-62, SAU. Got to a situation, defender, one defender, two meal riders. And Caldwell took the lob and put it down. Now Slaymaker at the other end with a two. Put the Crimson Storm back on top. Meal riders to Garrett, right wing, comes left, drives the paint, in low, layup, roll the ring out. Visser clears it. For Snoo and McCann coming the other way. They lead by a point, 64, 63. McCann in low with the dribble. His shot blocked by Caldwell on help defense. Now to IGD on the break, drives the paint. Layup too hard off the glass, no good. But he'll go to the line. IGD kicking himself that he didn't make that free, that layup rather, after the foul. Foul's on Slaymaker. It's only the first on him. So with 5.21 to play, Anthony Igidi will step up to the line to shoot a pair. Up and down with the first. Ties the score. Ray in for Garrett. For SAU after that first free throw. After the game, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game. Free throw number two, good as well. Let's say you back up by one. Well, this may come down to whoever touches the ball last. Slaymaker out top. Gives left this turn on around. Edelmeyer brings it out. Now gives right wing. Slaymaker dribbles down, then kicks back out. Now up top, McCann. Drives paint. Blocked from behind by Hammond. Off the glass, it comes out to IGD. Front court, cross court to Ray. Then Hammond. Hammond, no look, down low. Way up, good for Christian Caldwell. And Snoo says, we want to talk this thing over. SAU up 67-64 with 4.51 left. This is Muirwater Basketball. Growing older comes with its challenges, but with L. Jennings Law, securing your future doesn't have to be one of them. Our elder law expertise delves deep into the intricacies of Medicaid planning and long-term care, ensuring that your family home remains just that, yours. You've built a life, let us help you protect it. Expertise from big firms delivered with local care. Call 501-501-WILL or visit lgenningslaw.com. 
Cross Liquor Beer and Wine, Highway 1483 West in Magnolia is your one-stop shop for all you need. Located next to the Magnolia Travel Center, Cross Liquor has a large selection of beer, hard lemonades, seltzers, moonshines, and more. Stay dry during those rainy days with Cross Liquor's covered drive through and ask the friendly staff about our loyalty program. Gearing up for a big event or holiday party? Call ahead and Cross Liquor will deliver. 870-626-6135. It's Cross Liquor next door to Magnolia Travel Center. Three-point Neil Ryder lead, 67 to 64. But again, boy, it's just neither team can get an advantage. Too big of an advantage in this game. SAU hadn't led by more than five. SNU hasn't led by more than three. SNU ball with SAU up by three. Coming to the left side. With the dribble, is McCann down toward the corner. SAU's gone into a 2-3 zone. McCann back out to Slaymaker. Three left wing, won't go down. Caldwell pulls it down for the Mule Riders. Now it's Tell coming the other way for SAU. Trying to add to that three-point lead. Tell up top. Comes right with the dribble. Gives left up top and a reach in. Cam Slaymaker almost picked his pocket but he got him across the arm so a second foul on slaymaker and your riders in the bonus that's team foul number seven on snoo so uh this is going to be one and one for anthony igd and his free throws good so he earns the bonus who's going to be our people's bank player of the game Listen after the game and find out. Well, I tell you what, it could be anybody. Another free throw from IG. That's good as well. He made two. 69-64 matches the largest lead of this game. The Muir Rider five-point lead that they had earlier. Slaymaker to Edelmeyer out top. Now left McCann on down to the corner. Left side says it pops up three. Made another one. Well, every time you think you think you're about to pull away, they hit a big three. So it's back to a two-point game. Right side tail gives out, then takes it back on the wing. Dribbles down the paint, spin move, shoveled up, and in by Navy Tell. 71 to 67. Navy smallest guy on the floor, but he's not scared to go inside with the big guys. Edelmeyer out top gives right. Driving Slaymaker, reverse side shot attempt, blocked out of bounds by IGD. And we got a timeout on the floor. It'll be Crimson Storm Ball at their own end when we come back. 71 67 SAU. This is Muirwater Basketball. Greatness doesn't happen overnight, it takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. For a free personal protection review, contact Shelter Insurance agent Gary Don Farah. If you're like most Americans, you spend over eight hours a week in your car. So naturally, you want to be satisfied with its performance. That's why you need to know about Spitler Tire and Auto. Folks around here have been trusting Spitler Tire and Auto for over 17 years. They have 10 service bays to handle all kinds of repairs, tune-ups, brakes, mufflers, oil changes, tires, and more. Whatever your car or truck needs, trust the experts at Spitler Tire and Auto in the Dairy Queen Shopping Center, 521 East Main in Magnolia. Big differences in the second half is that SAU get more points in the paint. At half, SNU led 22-16 on points in the paint. As it stands right now in the paint, uh, it's a 38-32 edge for SAU. Crimson Storm Ball left baseline at their end. 3.34 to play. Thrown in left corner. Then Zezik comes in and takes it. Dribbles out to the wing. And down toward the corner. We got a whistle. And a hold going against SAU. 
That's going to be Caldwell. Christian Caldwell with his first foul. Says he can throw it again in, uh, in again on the left baseline. They'll work it around and on around. They go to Edelmeyer right side. Now back across to McKinney. Dribbles in, kicks out. Now Slaymaker. They're weaving back and forth. Over to Zezik. Gives back left. Three from Edelmeyer. Bounce across. No good. Up to get it Ray for SAU. Now it's Tell. SAU by four. Coming up on three minutes to play in the game. Tell with the dribble. Down the right side. Comes around. Falling down. Puts it up. No good. And it's pulled down by Southern Nass. Slaymaker. Now McCann, front court. Left side, picks up his dribble. Lob down to the baseline. Zezik dribbles in, layup, no good. And run down by Tell on the left baseline. Tell will slow it down, coming back the other way. Not too much, yeah, we've got to get across in 10 seconds. He did. Works right side with the dribble. Bounce high. That was knocked loose. But Carl will able to come out and get it after Visser got a piece of it. Now Tell up top, eight to shoot, coming right, needs help, gives out to Hammond, Hammond off the dribble, three out top, won't go down, tipped out by Caldwell to Tell, Tell inside, bounce inside to Ray, Ray fakes, got his man in the air, then laid it in, 73-67, good job, Navy Tell, offensive rebound, and then he got it to somebody a little bigger in there against their bigs, out top, Slaymakers, three at the other end, no good. Caldwell has it for SAU. Six-point Mule Rider lead, largest lead of the night. IGD gives to Tell at the midcourt circle. Minute 45 left in the game. Tell works right. Off over there to Hammond. Comes left to IGD now out top. IGD works right. 11 to shoot. Comes back left to the top. Give off to Ray. Five to shoot. CJ left of the paint area. Steps back and pops. 16-footer good for C.J. Ray. 75 to 67. SAU. Time out. Southern, Southern Nazarene with a minute 17 now on the clock. 75-67 SAU. This is Mule Rider Basketball. KBMZ FM Waldo Magnolia and KELD FM Hampton Camden El Dorado 99.1 and 106.5 The new Max FM Short term plans may change but stay focused on three lifetime goals planning for retirement, preparing for the unexpected and creating an estate plan Get in touch with one of Magnolia's Edward Jones Financial Advisors, Edward Jones part of SIPC At Omos' Trucking, trust has been at the top of our list When you need to get precious cargo from one place to another without worrying about damage to delays or lost freight, Omos' Trucking is the one to count on. Based in Magnolia, Arkansas, since 1999, we have the resources and equipment to take care of all your flatbed freight hauling. Visit us on Facebook or call 870-234-2803. Omos' Trucking. Trust us to go the distance. Well, I'm trying to get, a, get an idea, maybe a heads up on who's going to be People's Bank player of the game. It can go a lot of different ways right now. SAU leads at 75-67. We will name our People's Bank player of the game after the game. Check out that People's Bank companion savings account. Also, uh, that great CD rate they're offering. People's Bank member FDIC. Into the front court comes Southern Naz out top now. Zezik gives off. Shot blocked by Ray by Slaymaker. Slimaker got it back and then stripped from him by IGD. It went out of bounds. Big block out top by CJ. It'll be Crimson Stormball left sideline. Free throw line extended at their end. Into McCann out on the left side. A minute to play. Ten to shoot. One minute to play. Driving underneath is Visser. And Visser gets the reverse layup. 75-69. And a ball coming in bounds. We end up with a pile up down on the floor, and I think SAU, yeah, Navy Tell came up with possession there after the ball was knocked loose and a timeout taken by SAU with 56.6 to play. They lead by six. This is Muir Rider basketball. 
Add Your Service Environmental Solutions has been serving not only the Magnolia community, but all of South Arkansas since 1986. Add Your Service is a locally owned distributor of cleaning equipment and chemicals, janitorial supplies, trash bags, food service items, and paper products. Add Your Service also provides quality professional cleaning services for homes or businesses on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. For more details, visit AddYourServiceStore.com or stop by 1506 North Vine in Magnolia. Add Your Service Environmental Solutions. We know the power of clean. Reminder, there, is, there will be no basketball games played at Magnolia High School tomorrow night. They got no school tomorrow. They will not be playing basketball tomorrow night. SAU will be right here, though, Saturday afternoon at 1. Another basketball doubleheader, this one against Oklahoma Baptist. And we'll have it for you right here on Max FM. Garrett into the game. Inbounds backcourt for SAU to Hammond coming back. He was fouled a reach from behind by Cam Slaymaker. That's three on him. And one and one. Team foul eight. So Hammond to the line for SAU with 54.8 to play. One and one. Six point lead right now. Free throw, no good. So still a two possession game. As Zezik the rebound, now McCann. Front court to the left side, off over there, Edelmeyer. Down to the baseline, knocked away. I think Navy got a piece of that, and it goes out of bounds. It's going to be uh, Snooball left baseline at their end. 45 seconds to play. Zezik to throw it in. Into the left corner, Slaymaker. Tried to go baseline, knocked loose by Hammond. Almost a steal, but he couldn't save it inbounds. So Zezik will inbound again on the left baseline. 41.5 to play. 19 to shoot. They trail by six. Inbounds as it gets it back left corner. Three. Nope. No good. Ball loose. And Ajidi picks it up. He's double teamed and tied up. Boy, that was a quick whistle. He had Visser on one side. And Zezik on the other, and he turned away from Zezik after he got got his hands on the ball. Man, that was a quick whistle. It's going to be SAU ball, though, on the alternating possession. Maybe tell the inbound backcourt, bounces in. Ture gets it ahead to IGD, and IGD will dribble it across the timeline. 30 seconds to play 31.1. Actually, there was a foul call out there at midcourt. It was so loud in front of me here, I didn't hear the whistle. So 31.1 left in the game. SAU leads 75-69. And Anthony Igidi shooting a one and one. Nine team fouls. Free throw good. Earns the bonus. So three possession game now. Another free throw for IGD. Got it, too. He's perfect from the line tonight. 77-69. Ahead to Slaymaker. Drives in from the left side. Shoveled up. No good. Ray is able to tip it out to Tell. Tell coming across the baseline. And he throws it ahead to Garrett. Garrett long pass down the floor to Hammond. They're playing keep away. 12 seconds left. And Visser comes up. And going around to Hammond. Visser commits the foul. That'll be his second. So with 11 seconds left to play, Gregory Hammond Jr. is going to the line for the Mule Riders. And that'll they'll be in the double bonus now. That's their 10th team foul. Hammond's first free throw up and no good. Gregory's missed his last three in a row. Well, two in a row. Excuse me. Got one more coming here. Free throw up. And that one goes. Made one of two. 78-69. McCann over to Zezik. Front court. Long three on the way. And he knocked it down with five seconds to play. 78-72. And Mirators will inbound and let the clock 
run out. SAU, a winner, 78-72 over the Crimson Storm of Southern Nazarene University tonight here in Magnolia. 78-72, our final. Got our Domino's postgame show coming up. This is Muir Rider Basketball. Car dealerships are not the same. Hi, Jim Golden with Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln, and Camden. The difference is we consider our customers part of our family, and families take care of each other. There's no such thing as an unhappy customer when you do business with us. And if you have a problem, we have a problem, and we're going to fix it. That's just how we do business at Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln. Come see what it's like to buy from family. I'm Jim Golden, and I'll guarantee you'll like it. Come see for yourself why we say at Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln, and Camden, where the dealer makes the difference. That's the sizzle of McDonald's new, hotter and juicier 100% fresh beef quarter pounder burger. Sounds good, right? Hold up, you can't hear that mouth-watering sound or taste that beefy, melty, cheesy deliciousness until you order yours, because that's when they cook it. So if you want to hear this, followed by this, mm. hit this, and turn into McDonald's now. McDonald's new, hotter and juicier quarter pounder burgers. So good, they'll leave you speechless. Hotter and juicier compared to prior quarter pound beef patty. Available in most restaurants in contiguous U.S. Not available in Alaska, Hawaii, and U.S. territories. Football is better with friends and banking is better with People's Bank. We're offering a CD rate of 5.01 annual percentage yield for 10 months. Minimum balance is $1,000. This offer is effective and APY is accurate from June 1st, 2023 and is subject to change at any time. Don't pass. Rush in to see us today. Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. See Bank for details. People's Bank, member FDIC. Bailey's Body Shop is your one-stop shop for collision repair. They can do it all, from handling the estimate for you to getting the information to your insurance company. Owner Danny Bailey has been doing auto body work for over 40 years, and Bailey Body Shop is built on quality and trust. You don't have to worry about it. They're there when you need them. When you need collision repair, trust Bailey's Body Shop, 2416 North Vine in Magnolia, 234-3303. Knock your taste buds out of the park with the Corner Clubhouse, 100 South Washington on the Magnolia Square. We're talking mouth-watering steaks cut in-house, burgers, loaded nachos, salads, wraps, quesadillas, and more. Choose from an array of legendary baked potatoes like the chicken fajita and chicken bacon ranch. Menu updates, picks, and more. Search the Corner Clubhouse on Facebook. Daily specials, a full bar, big screens for the big games, and only a short stop away. It's the Corner Clubhouse. Satisfy your cravings with a Grand Slam today. Welcome back on our Domino's post-game show. Carry out a deal for only uh, $7.99 at Domino's, including all of their one-topping uh, pizzas on any of Domino's five crusts or their eight-piece wings or boneless chicken or Domino's dip and bread twist combos. They're included also in those uh, $7.99 carry out deals at Domino's, East Main and Magnolia, also in Canada. Stick around, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game here in just a little bit. I'll tell you what, well, what a nail-biter in this one. SAU finally able to get a little uh, separation late in the game, but uh, Southern Nazarene with 550 left right about there. They had their last lead at 64 to uh, 63. They were able to uh, have their, their last lead. Muir Riders then went on a little 6-0 run, Snoo answered with a three then the mule riders went on another 6-0 run to go up by uh, eight points new uh, got a two there uh, to cut it to six but um, sau gradually able to pull it away and uh, finally end up with the final margin being a six point advantage sau's largest lead was nine uh, late in the game with uh, with about 14 seconds remaining in the game but what a game uh, here tonight at SAU, but Mia Rod is able to hold on and uh, and win this one tonight, 78 to 72. So as we continue on our Domino's post game show, Mia Riders uh, for the night, 50 percent from the field, 28 out of 56. Snoo is 28 for 62, 45 percent, three point range, nine for 21 for Snoo, 43 percent. SAU seven out of 20, 35 percent. Free throw line, seven for nine for Southern Nez and. 15 for 20 for Southern Arkansas University here tonight. We're joined by 
by Coach Logan Gwynn. Ooh, that was that was a that was a battle tonight. That Coach. was a battle. That yeah. was, that, that's life in the in the GAC. Um, there's not any team that if you don't bring it, you can just win. And um, you know it, it's a battle every single night. And if you don't bring it, you absolutely will get beat. And I thought our guys brought it for 40 minutes. They're really hard to guard. Um, they run really good stuff. And I felt like our guys were really locked in on the scout uh, for the last couple days. We did something different. We watched uh, personnel two days before, um, and then we watched it again, and then we watched it again, and then we watched our defense again and again and again. And um, I still think they got in the paint. Um, but I was really, really proud of our effort and us just being connected. And um, just that, that's what I was most proud about was us being connected. You talk about points in the paint. Second half, I think I think at the half they had an advantage there yes, in the did. paint, didn't they? And you they guys, did. yeah, you guys did a great job of that in the second half. Yeah, we we talked about whoever wins the paint is going to win the game, and thankfully I was right. Um, I felt like we took care of the ball at a high level. Um, I think we had seven turnovers at half, and we ended up with nine. Guys did a really good job of taking care of the ball. We just kind of shot ourselves in the foot a couple times in the first half, maybe trying to play a little bit too fast, and uh, we did a great job of taking care of the ball. Um, again, we, we got, um, you know, over 12 assists, which is what we try to do. Um, and I thought guys really, really brought it tonight. I'm sitting, I was sitting there looking through the stats, trying to figure out, okay, who are we going to name as our people's back player of the game? You know, you just look at it and you couldn't have done it without any one of these guys. Exactly. Caldwell had a huge night for, I mean, just on down the line here, uh, Gregory Hammond played great for you. Ninth, uh, CJ, another big game. From C.J., uh, Garrett played well for you. Uh, IGD, without his six for six at the line, you probably do, you probably That's don't right. win. That's right. I mean, yeah. it's just all so important. It's a team effort. And yeah. even guys that didn't play, even guys that played, uh, you know, four minutes, four minutes, eight minutes, you know, Mo got hurt on that last play in the second half. So <laughs> I always feel like whenever we get guys back and we're fully healthy, somebody else goes down. And um, couldn't play Jaron in the second half. He's not, not feeling great. So it was just a just a team effort. Heck of a night, really. Navy Navy Tell only scored seven points for you, but he, he had four assists. He had three steals tonight for you as well, and he had four rebounds for yeah. you. I mean, he was in there battling with the big guys all night. Yeah, Navy just brings it every day. He's an everyday guy. Um, we talk about he, we need guys that their care factor is really high, and Navy really, really has a high care factor. He yeah. cares big time, and that's why he plays – and we can count on him, even though he's a true freshman. Um, so just re just really proud of everybody. Yeah, it was an outstanding effort tonight. Well, let's get another one Saturday. What do you say? We'll try. All right. Thanks, Coach. Yep, thank you. Uh, Coach Logan Quinn joining us here after the game tonight. 78-72 is the final with the Mule Riders victorious over the Crimson Storm of Southern Nazarene University. So, uh, Mule Riders, uh, hey, you know, it's uh, it was a good time. You know, they were coming off. At East Central, they were coming off a five-game losing streak. But, you know, that last of those five at Southeastern Oklahoma State, and your riders really played well in that game. They ended up falling to a very good Southeastern team there. But you could see it really happening there. And then at East Central, uh, the big win on Saturday. And then, uh, boy, here tonight, they just battled, like you said, they just battled all night long, and they, they come away victorious in this one. I still don't know who our people's back player of the game is going to be. Let me give you the numbers first. Individually, Cam Slaymaker, the leading scorer for Southern Nazarene, ends up with 22 tonight. Ben Baker McCann uh, scored 15. He dished out seven assists. Uh, 13 points for Benno uh, Zezik. Uh, he was uh, also in double figures with 13 points. Eight for Visser. Uh, two for Gerard. Three for Edelmeyer. Uh, two for Mason, Coleman had two, and Bartholomew had five to round out the scoring for uh, Southern Nazarene University. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. You're welcome, Pump. Um, SAU, five guys in double figures tonight. CJ uh, led the Mule Riders with 19 points. Uh, Garrett, uh, five for eight from three-point range. He scored 15 Anthony IGD, again, he goes six for six at the free throw line. He had 14 points and eight boards tonight, uh, 13 for Gregory Hammond Jr., and uh, 10 points for Christian Caldwell. So, yeah, five guys 
in double digits. And again, Navy with uh, seven points, four assists and three steals also uh, to go with that. Uh, Hammond, by the way, had two block, two blocks tonight. He had three steals and he had three assists. So you know, he had some other numbers other than his uh, offensive numbers. Um, and again, 13 points for, for Gregory. And uh, those six are the only Muir Riders that scored in this one tonight. Uh, had some guys, like I said, Harris, I think, was uh, was feeling bad. And he played about five minutes tonight but uh, couldn't go any further. And Mohamed Traore, I think that was Mohamed, I saw limping after the game. So uh, he was held to eight minutes uh, tonight in this game as well for SAU. But, hey, uh, like you said, uh, it, it takes everybody, and they were able to get it done. Well, uh, you could go any any uh, any of a number of different ways for a People's Bank player of the game in this one. We're going to go with C.J. He was the leading scorer with 19 points, and he pulled down seven boards for the Mule Riders. He also had an assist as well, and he had a block, had a block shot in this game as well. So C.J. Ray, our People's Bank player of the game. People's Bank will donate to the SAU Athletics Fund in the name of our player of the game, People's Bank. The only bank dedicated exclusively to Columbia County, People's Bank, member FDIC. Well, ladies game tonight, SAU ladies, boy, they were they hung around with Southern Nazarene all night long. Southern Naz was able to pull it away late uh, uh, tonight, but uh, SAU uh, gave them all they wanted and more. Uh, they fell 72-59, to 59, though, and the, uh, finally in the nightcap, SAU men, Winners, 78-72. So the Mule Riders, 4-5 and five in conference. They're 6-9 and nine overall. Snoo falls to 3-6 and six in conference play. They are 6-8 and eight overall. Again, Magnolia High School games tomorrow night postponed. They will not be playing tomorrow night. Saturday, though, we will have SAU basketball here against Oklahoma Baptist. Ladies at 1 and the guys at 3. And we'll have both those games for you here on Max FM. Final again here tonight, SAU a winner, 78-72. For Connor Rambo back at the studio, I'm Dan Gregory. So long from the W.T. Watson Athletic Center.